Hi everyone, it is August 24, 2018, so we have yet again a weapon of war being used and it's called Hurricane Lane. And Hurricane Lane, I said to a friend, I don't know, two days ago, this is Harvey. It's Harvey. It's not a hurricane, but they're going to dump massive amounts of rain in Hawaii. So already we're seeing the massive amounts of rain. I think they got 25 inches or two feet, 24 inches. Earlier this year they got 25 inches in what, 24 hours? Destroyed homes, destroyed farms, destroyed roads, destroyed communities. Then they had the volcanic eruption. Wow, that was that was a lot of destruction. And now they have this and they're I read in an article that the volcano may be triggered again by the hurricane and it's all manufactured. This is not Mother Nature. It's not Mother Nature. And the hurricane hasn't even hit. Look at this rain that fell. Wow. I don't know what's going on with my computer, but it's like not my computer anymore. Somebody took it over. Good evening. I'm Jeff Clore. Now, I always had uh, the ad block. Well, now I don't anymore. But somebody turned it off. But uh, where did all of this come from? Wow. The hurricane hadn't even hit. This hurricane, boy, it's just filled with a lot of fluid. Letting it go. Really? Well, the purpose of this video is to highlight a couple of channels that are showing you, once again, this is not Mother Nature. <laughs> In Truth By Grace, I said yesterday or two days ago, I sure hope she posts. And she didn't disappoint me. She's posting on uh, the commonalities between this hurricane and Hurricane Irma Mainstream media, oh my god, the wind speeds, 155 miles per hour. She goes right to the buoys. Uh-uh. Discrepancy here. The wind speeds ain't showing what mainstream media is reporting, just like Hurricane Irma. Commonalities with Harvey, it wasn't the hurricane that destroyed and created all of that flooding. It was other technology where they can produce rain clouds and get them to stay in one place. With Harvey it was four days. Massive rain. What'd they have? 40 inches? And they were calling for 40 inches in Hawaii and they got two feet already. And Hurricane hasn't hit. It's hard, especially when, you know, we do have now a people, and I, I, look, there is no excuse for ignorance, not when we have the internet, not when so much information is available, easily accessible to all, and you don't use it. Nope, you're going to believe your authority figures mainstream media, what they tell you, no matter how much they lie to you, you know they're lying to you, but you go right to them to get your information. You listen to your authority figures when these disasters, these weather events, extreme weather events are coming or they hit. What, what, what did your authority figures say in Houston? don't evacuate. We have emergency alerts coming out, scaring the crap out of people, but nothing's happening. Oh, sorry, it just fell. And then when something's happening, like fires in California, they don't get any alert. Your authority figures fail you every day. Mainstream media fail you every day, but you insist on listening to them instead of those Oh, 
crazy conspiracy theorists who know how to research, who critically think, who weigh the information that they get, the facts, the evidence, and then they come to a truth, but you're not going to listen to them. Instead, you think it's fabulous to let other people think for you and get direction from people who lie to you all the time. So, in Truth by Grace, I suggest if you haven't subscribed that you do. She said that she was going to be looking at the buoys throughout the day. She posted this, Hurricane Lane News versus real-time data recorded by buoys that would show the, the, the buoys are the accurate reading of wind speeds and what mainstream media is telling you about Hurricane Lane is a lie here. Where is Hurricane Lane on radar? Absent. No hurricane is showing on radar. And she said, I believe in this video, that the wind speeds are even lower. I went to vent to Sky yesterday and today, and yep, yeah, I'm having a lot of difficulty with my computer, but wind speeds, 26 miles per hour, 31, 30, 20, you know, I don't, I don't necessarily just rely on these sites, um, but with everything that I hear from in Truth by Grace, and then I look to you, yeah, we're not, we're being lied to once again. And it's clear that these, that this is manufactured. Very clear. Radar is not showing a hurricane. It is showing this uh, manufactured weather front. And you can, it, it's loaded with frequencies. So I also recorded what I saw yesterday. Okay, you see this straight line. All right, that frequency has been sustained. It's been maintained. Well, since I went on IntelliCast, it's been maintained for at least 24 hours. But do you see all of the right angles or the um, sawtooth lined, defined lines? This is not Mother Nature. Mother Nature does not work in. Yeah. Uh, defined. She doesn't, this, she's in, works in a circular pattern. She doesn't say, hey, I'm going to create a storm, but uh, this one I'm going to use a ruler. Look at this. So you can see all of the ultra low frequencies going through here, but where is the massive storm? Um, all of that is pretty much green. You can see the microwave frequencies also shooting through this, all of the ripples, the dark ripples that you see in the precipitation. Now with the ultra-low frequencies, and the ultra-low frequencies are these sawtooth or the very fine defined lines. With the ultra-low frequencies, coupled with the high frequencies, the heating from the Doppler radar, shooting it into the ionosphere, all of what they do is directional. They steer the frequencies to hit precise locations. <clears throat> and with the high frequencies and ultra low frequencies, well, they can create cyclones, earthquakes. Uh, they can heat up, oh, the ocean or the atmosphere, and they can create an awful lot of damage. So they just say it's a hurricane when there's really no hurricane. We are living 1984. You know, when they were saying there's a war against o Oceania, or there were no wars. That was just told to. Uh, the people in, you know, living in 1984, they rile up the people. They get them all like chanting, 
we've got to win, we've got to win, we've got to win. And then they announce that it wasn't Oceana. They make a mistake and claim that they were fighting another state or they were victorious over another, God, I can't even remember the three regions, you know, of 1984. My memory is going, guys. But, um, you know, they're announcing one particular side that they're fighting. And then the announcement is a side that they weren't fighting. And everybody's like, well, then they get riled up for that side. All you have to do today is just put out information and it doesn't even have to be real. They can simulate anything like a hurricane, get people to believe it's a hurricane, and cause an awful lot of destruction and chaos. And that's what's happening in Hawaii. The hurricane has not even hit yet. So I do not understand what's happening with my computer. Um, price gouging already has hit. Rumors flying around the island and people waiting to hear from their authorities, calling up their authorities. What's going on? Is this what I heard? Is it true? And causing panic. There's not enough shelters. I'm sorry, guys. Look, my comp I, I really... You know, I boot it up, I clean it, I it works perfectly fine for about 15 minutes. And then all of this starts. But here, not enough shelters, but you keep relying on your authority figures to protect you. To protect you. And Lane has already unloaded more than two feet of rain across the big island, leading to landslides, flooding, debris flow. It's a repeat of earlier this year, but it's a repeat of Harvey as well. And President Trump has already declared a state of emergency. How often now do we declare states of emergency before anything even hits? But now, the hurricane cannot hit, but you get two feet of rain. Why are people not questioning what the hell is going on? They're going to believe all of this is global warming. Well, that global warming would be happening incrementally, even if it was true. But now, wow, new normal. Forest fires all year round in California, in Washington, in Oregon. It's the new normal, guys. Get used to it. Thousand year floods, two in 22 months. Ellicott City, Maryland. At the same time, of, oh, I'm sorry, at the same time of the fires in California, you've got the flash flooding up in the Northeast. New normal, guys. You have water up to your thighs in New Jersey. You've got now, oh, the tornadoes. Well, we don't now have a tornado alley. Now tornadoes hit anywhere. But you will not look at the technology that man is using to create these events. No. You're just going to listen to your lying mainstream media, your lying government officials, and what are you getting from it? You're getting no protection and destroyed. In telecast, this is your friggin' hurricane. Really? Really? Okie dokie. Yep, that's how hurricanes look. And I guess people think, oh, well, meteorologists look at that, and they're saying it's a hurricane. Oh, don't you know? A lot of people lie to get their paycheck. You can also go to, um, I recommend subscribing too. Two more. All right. One Pacific Redwood 
Who? Mm -hmm. And he gets the wind speeds from just clicking on these sites. So these sites are lying. Uh, the wind speed, you go to In Truth by Grace. But in one Pacific Redwood, first of all, will you please look at how finely defined this portion of uh, another weather front but he also talks about how they are controlling, manipulating, steering. And he goes through how they do it. And he shows that this hurricane, you'll see that it too has these squared off portions of it. The squaring of it, they hit it with the frequency and they can push it over, steer it. Frequencies can be extremely powerful. But he talks about the high pressure systems, low pressure systems, and how they're controlling all of it. Well, today is August. So, he's also, well, today is August. He's also um, posting on Hurricane Lane, Mike Morales, Ooh, very frustrating. Um, he too is posting on Hurricane Lane. It's not real. The damage. Now, look, they have an awful lot of methods to create two feet of rain in 24 hours, flash flooding, tornadoes, um, uh, the fires, all of it. So, they can claim something is a hurricane. It's not a hurricane, but create the damage of a hurricane. And everybody just believes it. But I want to show you now, Mike Morales is actually showing you on the uh, Mimic uh, site frequencies. Right here, you can see them. I'm not going to play any of the videos. I had something happen to me early this morning and I'll talk about it in another video, but I, I'm not feeling well. Um, but look at all of these frequencies here and the frequencies coming off of Africa. And I'm going to show you what I got yesterday on the Mimic map or site which is right here. Now with these frequencies, I'm really sorry. I, I just, <laughs> um, how is it that everything could be working just beautifully and then everything stops working beautifully? So, look at all of these frequencies. This is Hawaii, right here. These black islands. Frequencies right up here, the semicircles that you see flash about. And you got the frequencies that are zooming up. Now, you put out these frequencies right here. You can control that hurricane. Keep it from going too far west. Now, I don't know that that is exactly what's taking place here. All I'm saying is they can use the frequencies to steer the storms that they can actually create. But you have the frequencies here, semicircle right here. Look, it really is so unfortunate that all of these frequencies could be used for good. All of this technology could have been used for good. And it's being used in such unbelievable ways. But I want to share with what I got in telling this. This is this was what the hurricane looked like yesterday on radar. Are you kidding me? Really? Wow.
here. This was yesterday. And it was... Oh, I can't see the time. Alright. Um, but it was in the morning. So it's over 24 hours that we have that sustained frequency right here. Right here. But we have the ultra-low frequencies going right through this. The pie-shaped cutout. Hey, you want a slice of precipitation? Sure. No, not Mother Nature, sorry, but you have... Wow, look at the grid pattern in the precipitation right next to the sustained frequency. And I'll show up right now. Here it is. All of this. You see the scalar squares popping up. Scalar. Uh, weapons that they use. You can see the ultra-low frequencies. Very clearly, the dark, defined lines fanning out words. These are the ultra-low frequencies. And then they have the high frequencies. Well, they're coming off the Doppler radar sites. Or, but they heat up the ionosphere. And they can direct the the frequencies coming back down from the ionosphere to a precise location. And people call you crazy. Make your ignorance is killing us. Willful ignorance is killing us. So the satellite images were pretty much the same. I mean, you can see the chemtrails. And the... Oh, wow, look at that. Uh, you're really going to call that? You start getting that very defined portion of the hurricane. They're steering it, but you can also see all of the geoengineering things place at the periphery of the storm. They can control the storm by laying all of the uh, chemtrails at the on the periphery of the storm. They use the frequencies. Look at that, how fine that is. Frequencies are hitting the storm. Man is doing this. I'll link below. I'll link below to um, In Truth by Grace, One Pacific Redwood, Mike Morales. Earlier this year, so many people were destroyed in Hawaii. Then mid-year, so many people were destroyed. The volcanic eruption. Now, we have more direction, uh, more destruction being directed. Clear, obvious, in your face. Manipulation by man. We're at war and we can't get through to people. 